overall we generated 13.3k US dollars in under 12 hours and in this video I'm gonna explain exactly how we did that so I'm gonna outline our entire step-by-step -step funnel what we did what I learned what I'll do differently next time and all the little tactical things along the way so if you just wanted to know the overall figures you got them now but this video is pretty interesting so I'm excited for you to see it and I look forward to hearing a comment from you below as to what you think about what we did and maybe anything that you've learned from it so I'm just in my hotel room after speaking at an event day after Black Friday it is Sunday the 1st of December today and I'm gonna be speaking at another event today but I just wanted to do a little recap on how our Black Friday promotion went so pretty much on Black Friday we launched a new offer which is where my audience could buy my money-making messaging method which is what we use to talk to people through direct messages and get them booking calls and I also gave a bonus which is an outreach script so people could reach out to potential clients without being sleazy or salesy or like you see all the time on LinkedIn like hey do you want to connect I have this thing that I think is gonna help you no we have a much better method to first reach out and then we have the money making messaging method to actually get them on the call so that it's done in a really seamless way so that was one thing they could buy and then the next thing is this sales script bundle which was just the sales domination however instead of just offering those products we actually had a new low ticket funnel so what i did was i launched a new ebook which is five steps to getting five online clients and at first i launched it for one dollar and then throughout the day on black friday the price went up to four dollars and seven dollars and thirteen dollars then nineteen dollars and so it was really interesting seeing purchasing it didn't, didn't really change one dollar versus 19 and then we also had an order bump which is basically where you can tick a box and add something to your purchase and the order bump was a resources hub which is basically all the resources that you need to run your online coaching slash consulting business really affordable softwares whereas people are often spending hours and hours on google trying to figure out what's best i just thought i'll just you know give them what's actually going to be best then after that, after they bought either just the ebook or they'd taken the one-time offer, the order bump as well, and then took them to a next page, which was like, wait, grab the money-making messaging method. It's normally $997, that's what we're gonna be putting out. This is my first launch, so like that's what it is gonna be selling for now, because it makes people that much money back like that. Um, and more. But basically, they could have the opportunity to just do a one-click upsell. So they tick, they click the green box, and then it's automatically theirs, and they get instant access. And it opens up in their membership portal. And then after that page, whether they clicked yes or no, it took them to the sales domination training, which they could get access to for two nine seven. I think started at, and then we increased it to four nine seven. Uh, the money making mystery method started at ninety seven, then it went to one nine seven. And then obviously now it's nine. Okay, so that was essentially what we did. We did, interestingly enough, after the sales domination, have another upsell, which is for impact to online business. However, we're going to do an insane, crazy launch for that on Cyber Monday instead. So I just want to run through the numbers and everything which we achieved. So here my stats are showing the sales for the money making messaging method and the sales domination. We did get a couple of sales. I think overall we had. Let me just check. Um, okay, yeah, so we actually had six sales for the Impact Your Online Business program, and all those six people took the payment plan. So that was 750 times uh, six. That's gonna come out to 4.5k dollars, okay? But basically, um, so I'll just add it on the top of the numbers I'm about to share with you. But then that's 4.5k they're gonna pay on this month, next month, and the month after that, because it was a three month payment plan, okay? So basically, as you can see here, our gross sales were 8.8K plus the 4.5K. So let's just say like that was around 13 grand. So bearing in mind, we launched this at around, I think it was 9 p.m. UK time on Black Friday, or it might have been, yeah, to social media, we launched it at literally 8 or 9 p.m. UK time. To my email list, we launched it earlier, but from the email list, we said, click here and I will send you the link. It then took them into a messenger bot where my messenger bot automatically sent them the link, which meant that I could manually follow up with them, right? 
because it's awkward if in Messenger you send out like an automatic link and then you have a series going on after of automatic messages. It just doesn't work because it means that what happens is it's really awkward because you're just like sending automatic messages while they might be messaging you back and it just makes it really inauthentic and it breaks the trust which is why one initial automatic message followed by manual follow-up wins every time and I think that's why we were able to generate this much in overall it ended up being like under 12 hours so that's like 14 grand in under 12 hours so we have spent about 8.8k there 4.5k there um, <clears throat> and then in here you can actually see that our gross overall volume from sales from Black Friday and Saturday as well. So Black Friday and Saturday are 10.127k and then that's also going to be plus the 4.5k. So overall it's around 15 grand in two days, pretty much like 30 hours or so. <laughs> so I'm relatively happy with that, but the thing that I'm not so happy about is like all the tech issues that we have. However, for me, this isn't a problem because it means that I have now learned from my, not necessarily mistakes, but I've learned what goes wrong. I've learned what works, what doesn't work, how to actually get ahead the specific things in the funnel that are going to cause problems. And so the reason why this excites me that I had so many problems along the way is that now my high ticket clients who join me and who get to like, let's say 50 grand profit per month. I can then actually teach them this low ticket funnel so that when next Black Friday comes around, they can do this for themselves. Or let's say at some point along the year next year, they just want to do a low ticket launch, they can use the exact funnel that I've used because they know that it works. Now, really interesting. If we go actually into the stat, basically what you'll see, right, the average car value was $86.29. This isn't including the impact online business program for simplicity's sake just because we had a lot of problems with the checkout on that. So all the people who purchased here, those six people who jumped in on the payment plan for $750 times three, they use a separate checkout page just because it was confusing. But it was really interesting. So the money making messaging method, we had 24 sales on that, but then for the sales script, we only had five sales on that. So that shows me that I need to make that offer more appealing because the revenue generated from the money making messaging method was over double what was generated from the sales script, despite the fact that the sales script was at a higher price point, okay? So the money making messaging method generated, let's just see here, it generated 3.5K, whereas the sales script generated 1.4K and the ebook generated 1.1K, okay? How interesting is that? So that shows me that our marketing and everything for the money making messaging method was on point and so it's just made it really clear to me as to how I did that and what I did because on my social media and on my blast I was sending out before and I was giving tons of testimonials for the money making messaging method of my sales stuff I literally did nothing so the fact that we generated 1.4k from that is great because it's kind of like an extra bonus because we didn't really do any marketing for it whatsoever so with that said it's been a very interesting learning curve and it's helped me realize, okay, moving forward for this funnel in particular, what do we need to do? We need to make the sales domination offer more sexy and appealing because honestly, that is a really good offer. It's just like we haven't made it clear enough inside of our actual marketing how quite how good it is. So we're going to work on gathering testimonials for that and marketing that out. But then what I also realized was like, okay, having a page um having like one offer right which is our ebook the low ticket one the really low ticket one with the order bump that really works the order bump let's see if i can see here uh, da, 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 da. okay i don't know how to see exactly how many people actually took the order bump. i'll figure that out and i'll make another post about that but the ebook, the low ticket plus the order bump, I know around 50% of the people took the order bump, which is great because that automatically pretty much doubles your average order value. I mean, when the ebook was $1, that took the average order value from $1 to $20, right? That's amazing. So that was that. The second thing is that most of the money making messaging method marketing, so that was awesome. Sales needs to be better. But then it showed me that having that extra step on the end just annoyed people. We had 
tons of people emailing back saying I accidentally clicked the button that was like way more money than I was wanting to spend please can you refund me and normally we don't offer refunds but like on this one occasion because it was a new thing that I haven't done before we gave it to them obviously I want to make sure that people are happy and get what they want and then I know that they're gonna love what they got so much they'll come back around to grab that as soon as they've made enough money from the money making messy method and ebook and things like that so then what we're gonna do seven Monday is for that final offer the higher ticket one which is mid ticket we're actually gonna do a really special offer because cyber Monday is the day of the online business and then this program is called impact your online business so it just makes so much sense so I wish I would have thought of that before but it's cool because all of my clients are online coaches and consultants so what I'm gonna do for them next year for my high ticket is I'll give them this funnel that's already done and built for them so they don't have to go through all the stress that I've been through but if you watch my YouTube vlog you'll know how much stress I've been through on this um, and I don't normally get stressed so that's that and then I can say look just hold something back for Cyber Monday so that you can sort of like sweeten the deal on Cyber Monday and say, because I'm an online business, you're gonna get all this because Cyber Monday is the day of the online business, right? Makes sense, huh? So that's basically what's going on there. It was pretty cool that we generated over 10 grand in a day, but for all the stress that it was worth, I know that when we make a high ticket, a couple high ticket sales, you know, we make more than that. So was it worth it? It was worth it for me in my unique position where I help people with this type of where I help people basically build online coaching and consulting businesses because for my high level people then it's going to be great but if you're just starting out and you're new it's not worth time and effort and stress it's, you're much better off to just sell high ticket because just look let's see how many new clients I have I have <coughs> let's see how many new customers right let me just pull this up right here okay so Stripe is showing me there was 137 new customers. 137 new customers. 137 new customers. Let's say you had an offer that is $3,500, right? Times three. That would be 10.5K. So how much did we generate? We generated just on Black Friday alone, 8.8K plus 4.5K. So I'm gonna do 8.8 plus 4.5. That comes out to 13.3. So let's say your offer is $3,500. That is, you would just need to make four sales at $3,500. That would generate $14,000, right? <clears throat> and it's like, I went through all of this stress and effort just to, like, and I'm, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. It's just when you put the numbers together, it's like the 137 new customers to generate what we did, or four. What's easier when you have a smaller audience? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go with the high ticket and a lot of people think, oh, I'm just starting out so I can't do high ticket. Actually, that's not true. In my opinion, it makes you more credible because you're selling something expensive which makes it clear that you're good at what you do. And if you're not confident in the fact that you're good enough at what you do, it's like, can you take someone to an outcome that they want? Can you fix someone's relationship? Can you help someone lose that? Can you help someone generate 10 new leads per day on LinkedIn, for example. If you can generate an outcome for someone, you can sell high ticket to them. High ticket wins. That's why I teach my clients inside of Impact Your Online Business and Impact Schools Academy and the five steps ebook, how to generate high ticket clients and then the money making messaging method and the sales domination, they are just tactics that we use to help them get to that outcome, okay? So for example, for me, my high ticket program is Impact Schools Academy. And then on the back end of that, we have a continuity, which is VIP or the mastermind, depending on where you're at. And so really, that's what you need. You need the high ticket offer plus the continuity and the high ticket offer needs to take them through a transformation and they'll get such good results that they'll want to stay with you. Even if they don't need to, they'll want to. And so that's basically where I'm at with that. I think that for me, I would call this a success because I learned so much. For me, my growth is all about learning now. It's not so much about the revenue that I generate because I know that if I wanted to generate that much revenue, just make a couple high ticket sales. Like it would just be me kissing me, like outreaching to tons of people. Now, my Facebook profile is still restricted from advertising because there's a tech issue on there. So all of this was like without paid traffic. Now look, I'm not saying that's a brag. I'm just saying it because it's true. And I don't actually think that this is ideal long term because I know that I want to be running Facebook ads because I am a seasoned marketer. I know how to run them. I love them and I think that they're absolutely great. And you often see people say, 
I generated 10 grand in a day without any paid traffic, just like I've done here. Because it's kind of clickbaity and people are like, whoa, I want to do that. But honestly, like, <laughs> at the first stages, you know, you need four high ticket clients to generate, what was it, 14 grand at, with a 3.5k offer. You don't need paid traffic for that. You can do that through out the DM outreach script that like we give our clients, for example, and that then using the money making messaging method and then closing them on the phone. Like that's what we teach our clients to do every single day to scale beyond that. I think Facebook ads are really highly beneficial. I would like to be using them. It breaks my soul that we can't use them right now because it just isn't working. I'm working on fixing it. Facebook has been looking into it for about six months now. Um, but basically, why I'm out with this is like, okay, it was a cool experiment. It was fun for me. My success is learning and growing and developing and learning things that I can teach my clients in the future. But I'm happy and I know that this time next year, when we have paid traffic, I'm pretty confident that on Black Friday alone, my goal is going to be 250 grand in revenue generated. And the cool thing is that I reckon a lot of that can be, I reckon our profit margins on that probably be about 80% because even though it's like a low ticket funnel, my audience is like becoming really engaged, which is cool. And that's what happens when you have a high ticket offer. And look, I never would have come out with these strategies, these principles, if I didn't have my high ticket offer. Because I named it like the money making messaging method to give to my high ticket clients. And then my audience started seeing that and they were like, whoa, I want this. And then that's obviously when they had the opportunity to jump in. Now they've jumped in. The cool thing is, hopefully in the future, they'll want to jump into my high ticket. People naturally often think that that's what everyone's going to do. Honestly, it's like 20% of people. Okay, don't get your hopes up. Sell to people's problems. If people have a problem right now, solve it through your high ticket offer. Um, so yeah, it was a cool experiment, it was a lot of fun, and uh, it was a lot of stress. If you are starting out, don't do low ticket. Like People will see me doing this now, but it's like comparing your chapter 3 to someone else's chapter 50. I've been doing this for a long time now. We did Black Friday last year and the year before that as well. And um, I have a team who was working around the clock on this. And so again, starting out, just do high ticket. You will be so much more successful. And uh, I'm just at a different stage now. I'm at it's different phases. I actually wrote about this in the ebook itself. So yeah, if you want to grab that, I'll leave it down below as a comment. And so yeah, there we go. I'd love to hear sort of what you did for Black Friday. Any wins, any losses, any lessons. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing it.